In this question, we're asked to enlarge shape A by scale factor 2 from centre 1, negative 2. If you would like to do this question alongside me, just click the link to download and print the templates. Then you can pause the video when you need to catch up. The first thing I'm going to do is to mark the centre 1, negative 2. And that's here. Now with this question, as you can see, the centre of enlargement is inside the shape. But that doesn't mean that we can't use exactly the same technique that we've used before. The new shape must be twice the size of the original shape because the scale factor is 2. The vertices of the new shape must be twice the distance from the centre. So it's going to be expanded out like this. So I'm going to use counting squares and mark down how much I count so that I can multiply by 2 and that way I won't forget my counting and end up marking the point in the wrong place. So let's take the first vertex here. It helps to draw the guidelines on, which I completely forgot to do there. So let's mark those guidelines on, going through each of the vertices of the original shape from the centre. Take care when placing this, your guideline, your rule of your guidelines, because you need to make sure that each point lies exactly on the ruler, so your guidelines are as accurate as they can be. So now. You'll see why I need the guidelines to help with the positioning of the shape. So the first vertex here is two across and one, two, three, four, five up, two to the right and five up. And I'm multiplying each of those by two. So that becomes four to the right and ten up. So now I count four to the right and two, four, six, eight, ten up. And my point lies on my guideline. So now I can be kept fairly confident because it's on the guideline that that point is in the correct place and I haven't miscounted. The next vertex is two to the right and two down. So two to the right is positive, two down is negative. Multiplying both of those by two, I get four to the right and four down. So four to the right and four down again is on the grid line. And the last one is one, two, three to the left. So that's negative three and two down. That's negative two. Multiplying both of those by two becomes negative six and negative four. So now I count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. and just join up the vertices of the shape. And you should be able to see by eye that it's an enlargement of the original shape because we're very good at recognising perfect enlargements as human beings. And you can see that the new shape is the same shape as the original, but just larger. So it's definitely an enlargement and all of the points are in the grid line. We can check the scale factor by checking all of the sides or just one of them. Um, the original shape has a side length of five here and the corresponding side on this shape is three, six, nine, ten. So it is a scale factor to enlargement.